is man. Many tactics. Yell. You yell. Nothing happened. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. something. Uh, but before I met you, I, I d didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, it felt like, I, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without every, ending up letting everyone down. But, adding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Yay. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? This seems happening! Hey! Hey! Did you remember my name? Did you? Yes. <gasps> what? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! About you too. So, like, what's up? I'm Braddy. I'm Caddy. And this is my best friend. And this is my best friend, Caddy. Braddy. Yeah, yeah. The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, Totally wicked cheap! You should like... Totally wicked buy all of it! I mean, like... Where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage! It's good garbage! Like, really good garbage! Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store! Duh! Water pot mostly! Found a gun in a dumpster. Oh my god, oh my god, I've done, I've done! He's like, actually, he's like, my robot husband, my robot husband. I think we're like, we're both like already married to him, going to marry him. He just, like, doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Elf is built Metaton, right? That's like, what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always looks like being built was his idea somehow. Even right after he was built, yeah, he was like Alphys was an old friend, but they're like not friends anymore. Yeah, I'm like me and Braddy, best friends forever. Oh. 
this again. Sorry. Oh my god, oh my god, Elphus, Elphus! She used to like, she used to live on the street, she was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the south, she showed us the coolest places to find tracks. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she just became, then she became the real center. Yeah, like, we haven't seen her from forever. So Atlas has always, like, thought Asgore is so super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul, that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little, girl. Yeah, like us! That is cool. Oh my god, he's a big, he's a tall goober. Why's a goofball? Like, he's like, I love that guy, he's so nice. God, god, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Okay. But we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get us some grand burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand gold if you get a minute time to buy another grab my butt! Bye. Hey, Psalms. Hey, there. Wait, what's over here? Wait, where are you going? You're supposed to be talking to me. Hey, son. <laughs> Hey, I heard you're going to a core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drinks, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't kill my brother again. Hey! Let me tell you a story. So I'm a century stood in forest, right? I sit out there and watch the humans. It's kinda boring. Fortunately, even the forest, there's this huge locked door. I saw that! And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. <laughs> So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes? Oh. Dishes is a very bad joke. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I've never heard that one before. And then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming. And she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. And then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. And I say, Who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman has extremely good. We kept telling other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. That was kind of cranky without a dead down story. But she told me to come by again. So I did. Then I did again. And again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes to rule door. It rules. One day, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. 
told me something strange. May you may never come through this door. Could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them. Will you not? No. I make promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But. Someone who is sincerely likes bad jokes. Has integrity. You can't say no. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up my goal. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done, haven't I done a great job protecting you? <coughs> I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That is a lie. Do you know how many times I've died? Hey, what was that supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yes, I... Yes, you're wrong. 